Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Today I wanna to talk about putting a logo on your deadlift platform or your platform in general. I get a lot of questions from people about this. And I really think it's a nice way to really make your gym stand out and make your gym your gym. Whether it's a team logo you like, a saying you like, or your own logo for your own home gym that you've created, I think it's a good way to really set yourself apart and really again, make your gym your gym. Now, if you don't have a logo and you're not very good at MS Paint like I am, you can go onto a site like Fiverr, find someone who's gonna make you a quick logo for somewhat cheap. There is, of course, other sites. I've used 99 designs in the past, but that's probably gonna be looking at a couple of hundred dollars to get a more professional-based logo. For something like this for a home gym, I really don't think it's too necessary. Now, once you have that, the site that I like to use that I got my logo from over five years ago is Echoed Graphics. They're based in New Jersey. They have a nice warning up top saying that they're still up and operational, which is nice because a lot of the videos I've been making recently have been stuff that's eventually selling out really quick. They should not sell out because they're making you your logo. So that's always a nice thing as well. Uh, I don't know how they compare in terms of cost or services compared to other providers out there because to be honest, like I said, I've used them for the last five years, haven't had any issues with them, so I've never had to look at other people. However, if you do have other suggestions, make sure you leave those in the comment section below. Now, they do a lot more than just deadlift platform logos. That's not what they're known for. They make a lot of signage, so vinyl banners, mesh printing, banner displays, all sorts of stuff. If you go to Expos and want to set something up for your team or your company, they're probably a good idea to do it, but I'm just going to be talking about logos here for a deadlift platform. And the nice thing is, is they have special self-adhesive vinyl stickers made for wood surfaces, which like I said, have held up really well for me for the past five years. It's a very simple process. I'm just going to walk you through what I did. So it has a step system here, one, two, three, four, and that's it. Four steps. You can't really fuck that up too much, but I'm sure we could probably try. So in terms of what your logo is going to look like in terms of the sticker itself, I would suggest looking for something that's going to take up a good portion of the platform. The first time I did this, I made mine two by two, but given the fact that most center pieces for a deadlift platform are four by four, I found that there was just too much wood. So what I really find the sweet spot to be, like I have currently, is a three by three logo, and that's gonna run roughly $54. Now obviously, if you have a logo that is very wide or very tall, you're gonna alter these things one of the things that I will suggest is try to avoid things that have a ton of different transparency layers. So if you're just doing a bunch of text which you don't want any kind of colored background on, this might not be the best idea for you because the way that these wood decals work is it comes basically on a white sheet. For me, with a round logo, I basically would just cut out around that. So the white sheet they sent me was a square. My logo was in the middle. I just got some scissors and cut around it, no issue. But if you have a lot of stuff where you're looking for transparencies or you don't want a colored background, whether that be white, blue, black, red, green, yellow, purple, whatever, this probably isn't the best bet for you. Now they do have options where you can get a clear sticker so those colors will show through, but those aren't really meant for wood. They're meant for different services. However, the people behind the company have told me that as long as the wood is coated or smooth, you should be able to still use them. I just can't vouch for that. So again, a lot of transparencies, this probably isn't your best bet. So logos that are circular or shield-like, or again, have some sort of colored background behind whatever those floating items might be, that's the best bet. So three by three is gonna run us to start $54. And there's a couple different options here. There's a UV printing option, which adds 35 cents per square foot. And a lot of the things here, if you don't know what they mean, you can click on the info button, it's gonna tell you about it. Um, so this is going to give you a great value indoor and outdoor graphics. So if you you're training outside and have your stuff outside or maybe in a garage where you have that door open a lot, this might be something you need. For me personally, I didn't go this route just because for the most part, I've been in the basement. Uh, the next thing is the finishing on it. They offer a bunch of different types of lamination. You don't have to get this. However, I would highly suggest it. Now, obviously, it's going to add some cost to the actual decal itself, but this makes a big difference. And again, there's a whole bunch of different kinds. There's a dry erase lamination. So if you want to be able to write on that logo, maybe you want to count your sets on here. That could be a good idea. If you want gloss lamination, so a little bit of a shiny logo, you could do that. A matte lamination, which is the one that I went for initially, just because I didn't want a very shiny logo on this, you can do that. A luster lamination adds some sparkle to it if you are feeling extra special. And then scratch resistant lamination, which I played around with as well. This is kind of for really high traffic areas. This is nice. 
However, the extra dollar per square foot, I don't really think it makes sense for a deadlift platform. You shouldn't have it being beat up too much, but it also tells you a little bit about the lamination process for any of these that you are wanting to click on. And again, they all have their own info button. So for me, I'm going to go with a matte lamination. As far as the shipping goes, shipping in the United States, I'm going to put in my information right here. You saw my emails there too. So if you want to shoot me an email, go ahead. You want to talk, let's be friends. Uh, but my shipping address right there and to calculate, it's going to add in all the extra stuff. $10 is their standard shipping. If you end up going over 150, which you should not be doing, it'll be shipping for free. Uh, we just want one. And as of right now, the cost is for 54. The extra finishing is $18. The shipping and handling is 10 bucks. So we're looking at $82 all said and done, which for me isn't very expensive. Again, this is something that is very high quality, has lasted me for the last five years, still looks very good. It's up to you if you're going to want to pay that price or not. Now, a couple other options right before I talk about some other stuff, talking about the price for the artwork itself. Obviously, a lot of times you're going to use your own provided artwork. You just upload whatever image you want. There's a nice check here for proofing. I would suggest doing the free press ready proof by email. Put your email address in there. And what that's going to do, it's going to send you basically a proof so you can approve before they actually go and print it to make sure what you're doing actually looks good. It's free. Might as well just do it. It only adds like a day or two extra time in the processing behind it. They also have other options where they'll create graphics for you. I haven't played around with this. I can't really speak to the validity or the quality of what they do. And there's a design my own graphics thing, which I'm not really sure what that does. So I'm just going to upload my own. I'm going to do a free proof. And in that case, it's $82, which again, for me, isn't overly expensive. Now, one of the things I want to do call out is you don't have to go with a decal. A lot of people go with a painting option. In fact, Alan Thrall has a great video behind this. He has two good videos talking about how he makes deadlift platforms. Actually, one's more of like a music video, which is awesome. You should definitely check it out. I will link both of those in the description box below, but you can go and paint your own using some painter's tape and just some basic paint that you get at the store. It's probably going to be a lot cheaper to do that, but it's going to take a lot more time and effort. And knowing me, I would probably mess that up. So this way for me, $82, it's the more expensive way, but it's the lazier way, which tends for me to be better overall in the long run. So this is what I do. Again, this is just what I've done. I found it works very well. If you have other suggestions, leave those in the comment section below, but I hope this helps. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.